What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the all new 2023-24 FC Barcelona Focus Box from Tops. These dropped on the Tops UK website for £80 a box, which is about 100 bucks or so. And they sold out pretty quickly from what I remember. Uh, and yeah, if you're trying to get one of these, check out the eBay link in the description down below. But yeah, as always, we're here to show you what this product is all about. So let's get right into it, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. It really helps us put more content out there like this for you guys. And yeah, when you click on eBay search links on this page and make a purchase, it can result in us earning a commission, which also supports us in the long run as part of the eBay Partner Network. Just an FYI, and thanks for all the support, guys. So this is going to be a single pack with 15 cards type of format. And here's actually the bottom of the box. So you can see the uh, odds here and what you can expect. But I'll also put up a visual reference table on the screen for you guys. And yeah, we should be getting one non-numbered shutter speed parallel and then one numbered parallel in addition to the guaranteed auto. But in terms of case hits, and there's going to be a lot of information here. So before we get into this, I do want to just like, you know, go over that. It's going to be a pretty short video. So I figured I'd fill it with a lot of useful information. Uh, but yeah, in terms of case hits, uh, you're looking at the golden hour autos, which are one in 12 boxes. You know, they have the golden hour inserts, one in every box, uh, which are the normal ones. But the autos are going to be case hits. And then after that, you have the magic of camp no insert, which is a little bit over one in every eight cases or so. And those also come in variations of out of 15, purple, five, red, and the full fractor one of ones. And then upping the rarity from there, we have the dual autos, which fall one in every 20 cases, basically. And right after that, we have the Topps Chrome Super Fractor one of one autographs that I'm sure most people are chasing. And, you know, those are going to be a wild one in like 112 cases. And yeah, here's the checklist for reference. Looks pretty amazing to me. But the product hit is actually going to be the two cutaway autographs from Diego Maradona and Johan Cruyff, and those are going to be one in 500 cases. So that tells you all you need to know about the print run. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into this pack and see if we're going to get one of those awesome packs or one of the many, many filler packs that I'm sure were made for this product. All right, so Pep Guardiola. 2011, Pep delivers the double. Love to see it. So technically, these are the inserts. 2009, the year of the sextuple. It's an interesting choice of words. But technically, I think that just means, well, like six. So, all right. Now we are at, um, what is it called? Base card. So, Julia Dragoni, one of the women's chase rookies, which we'll talk about later on after the pack. And then Leo Messi. Man, love these pictures. Really, really love the, the imagery they used in this set. Andres Iniesta, and then we have Mark Guyu, Martinez. All these are going to be base cards. Esme Bruits, Joao Felix, Rivaldo, Vitor, Oroki. And let's put this guy, actually, yeah, with the rookies. I was looking for the rookie pile. But our first parallel, non numbered, is going to be Gundogan, FC Barcelona. Shutter speed, I think, is what it's called. Ooh, look at those colors. I'm a big fan of those colors. Is that actually going to be a red parallel out of five? We shall find out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at that. Golden Hour, Pep Guardiola, back in the day. I don't think I've seen this card before. And I think from what I remember, this should be the autograph. So this, this, might, be, this might be huge. If the autograph is out of five, and then we have our numbered card, out of 75 should be blue let's set this down Ooh, look at that 2001 bicycle kick into europe rivaldo man if you guys haven't seen it it's amazing if it's the same bicycle kick that i'm thinking of it's one, probably one of the first ones i've ever seen in my life and i was just like oh my god you can do that in soccer i was like a, a young little kid and then ever since then i just you know attempted to to just take so many of those kicks when we were playing with friends but now moment of truth so I can tell you it's not the one of one super factor. That would have been absolutely out of this world. But, man, I have no idea what to expect. One out of five. Oh, man. Please don't let it be like Oriol Romeo or something. <gasps> Rivaldo. Oh, my God. Wow. What a banger. 
Oh my goodness. Rivaldo autograph, one out of five. And I believe this is actually the first time I ever pull a Rivaldo autograph. I do have some of his autographs in my collection, but I've just like purchased those from people. But wow, unbelievable. We were just talking about this inspiration, big part of my life. Man, the Brazilians like back in the 2000s, like early 2000s, that was like the golden, golden age of Brazil, man. That was crazy. Rivaldo, Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo. Wow, absolutely nuts. Of course, I'm not gonna forget Ronaldinho. I mean, that entire squad was just insane. Wow, so I, I can't believe we just did this. Out of five, Rivaldo autograph. Let's put this guy on the stand. And obviously the recap is gonna be basically like three cards. So this non-numbered actually kind of looks like more like fireworks than like a shutter speed, but I guess with the whole film reel thing, kind of makes sense why they named it that. So yeah, one non-numbered, one numbered out of 75. And then we got this autograph red out of five. Love to see it. But yeah, guys, how do we feel about this product? Personally, as a Barcelona fan, I absolutely love it. Uh, I don't want to have any room for bias here as much as I can. So I do have to be realistic with the rating though, uh, because we have to let the math do its thing. We always do. So yeah, I'll put up the rating on the screen while we talk about it. But uh, starting with the design, I really like the film reel feel to it. Uh, but you know, the design is somewhat busy. Um, if you really, really kind of focus on all the different elements, um, like around the frame or whatever, and the, the border is like slightly too thick in my opinion. However, the imagery used in the set is absolutely fantastic. And you know, the set gets like a lot of uniqueness points uh, from us for sure. But uh, yeah, in terms of pricing, it's considerably more expensive than, you know, the team sets that we've seen so far from the season. Uh, but it is guaranteed an auto, which is honestly great in my opinion. And you know, the auto checklist is pretty stacked, uh, super high, good auto ratio, like, I don't know, probably like around 65 to 75%, believe it or not. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the autos or a lot of the chase players have like way less autos than the defenders, for example. But yeah, uh, your chase rookies are going to be Lamini Mall, Vitor Roque, and Fermi Lopez. Nothing crazy that we haven't seen in other products. And then, you know, from the women's side, I'd say you're looking at Esme Bruitz and Julia Dragoni that we saw earlier. And yeah, in terms of long-term value, it's really up in the air uh, what's going to happen to the set. But I can tell you for sure that, you know, there's going to be a massive difference between, you know, multi-case hits, uh, super short prints and uh, compared to like everything else in this set that's not what we just mentioned yeah there's going to be a huge huge gap um, because you know they made around like 12,000 boxes of these so you know that's like a thousand cases basically so for one team uh, it's a little bit of an overkill in my opinion but either way I'd love to see the product hits get uh, pulled whether they're on eBay live or wherever if you pull one of those definitely let us know we'd love to see it and share it on our socials but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really, really curious about the Super Factors, especially because I don't think I've seen one like that before, especially like not in that tint. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks, and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.